one very interesting information for you all. You must have heard about blood clotting earlier. You've studied about that. Blood clotting involves platelet and some clotting factors. So what happens at the site of injury, these platelets they accumulate and cover that injured area. And with that, there is some activation of clotting factors. For example, clotting factor 8, clotting factor 9, right? They are very important for blood clotting. So initially what happens? Clotting factor 10 and 5, they activate thrombin and then thrombin activates fibrin. So this is how the clotting takes place in our human body. Just need not to go into the details of the clotting factor, just try to understand what happens actually. So uh, this is how clotting actually happens in normal human beings. But in case of hemophilic patient, these clotting factors, they are lacking, they are, they are less in amount or they are not activated. The, the patient is not able to make more thrombin. So how it happens? It actually deteriorates this clotting process. The clotting is not proper. So this is the protein molecule and we have a technology that is PEG, polyethylene glycol technology in which if it is, it is there attached to the protein, this can prolong the half-life of circulation of certain factors, these clotting factors due to which Hemophilia actually can be treated. So this is one of the ways that is PEG, polyethylene glycol can be attached to certain proteins which can prolong the halfway, this prolong the stay of clotting factors there due to which what can happen? We can actually cure this disease hemophilia and I should not say curing this disease but we can actually just reduce the symptoms of this disease. We can actually have better, better technology which is I told you it is PEG polyethyl glycation you can say. So this technology is actually the front runner technology you can see the latest technology by which the proteins are attached to this polymer that is polyethylene glycol which actually increases the stay of the you can say these clotting factors. For example, clotting factor 8 and clotting factor 9 in case of hemophilia A and hemophilia B. So if their stay can be increased, this can lead to more effective clotting. Okay. This is one of the technology by which this disease can be treated.